Hey YouTube, this is your home homeboy Seth McDonald 4. Now, everybody knows me as Seth McDonald 4. Um as my old YouTube channel name. Um but my channel now is Seth Seth Kim Seth G Kim Kwan. Um the new system of martial arts on my channel. Um I'm just wanna say this. You know, people that drive. You know, I'm a new driver. I'm a new driver. Yes, I am. I got my license last year. But what gets me the most? I am a most respectful driver when it comes to driving. On my way home from my mom's, you know, visiting her from last night, I was driving on set Highway 17 straight stretching. Um, Tuscumbia going toward Iberia, Missouri. And there was this fucker in front of me, kept putting on his brakes. I wasn't following him close. He was in a white car, white SUV. And then, when I was getting ready to pass him, the fucker ended up speeding up like we was trying to race. Well, there was another car coming toward my way. And he was not going to let me pass until I had a floor up to 70 and get over. Now, I want to show him disrespect. I want to show him I wanted to race. I was just trying to get home. And I got tired of him putting on his brakes every two seconds. And every time when when he wanted to speed past him, he would speed up. You know, people like that, when they don't share the road, they don't need to be fucking driving. Period. You know, that's the thing. And... Because... If I didn't, if he wouldn't have shared the road, it would have been his fault for not letting me get over because I had the right of way because I was passing. And I saw an opportunity to pass because that car was way back, but still, it was still speeding up my way because on that straight stretch, everybody likes to go like 70 or 80 mile an hour like it's a damn, damn NASCAR. NASCAR track through there on that straight stretch. And it was just probably some young kid driving, thinking that, oh, he's wanting to race this morning and let's just race him. I said, I'm not racing. I'm going to pass. So I said, I'm getting tired of you, motherfucker, putting on your brakes there for two seconds. When I wasn't even following close. And. Yes. I had a little road rage this morning. Um, but. All I'm saying is. People don't put on. If you don't see anything. Or. If you don't. And, you know. If there's no need to put on a brake. Don't keep putting on your brakes for no fucking reason. Because that's one way to get an, into an accident with somebody. That's what causes road rages. Because stupid idiots want to keep putting their brakes on for no damn reasons. And if you're on your phones driving, get off of them. If you can't fucking drive and talk at the same time on the, on the road, get the fuck off of them. And pay attention to what you're doing. Because I know in most cars nowadays... They have Bluetooth. You know, if you're if you're young enough to figure out what Bluetooth is, hook your damn phone up to a Bluetooth um, outlet and on your car and hook it up that way and turn around and end up being like, you know what, I'm going to end up doing this, you know, hook it up to Bluetooth, talk it through your car if you have to. 
Don't be holding up on your ear, driving and talking. You know, yada, yada, yada. Hook it up to your radio or whatever if you have to. And just talk that way. Because, and besides, you ain't really supposed to be on a damn phone when fucking driving anyway. That's the fucking state laws. Any laws out there. You ain't supposed to be driving and talking on a damn cell phone. You ain't supposed to be texting either. But people fucking do. Me, I'm parked. I'm in my driveway making this video. Um, I just had to get a rant, rant um, out, out of me. And this morning, um, about faking, uh, fucking, uh, uh, car was trying to drag race me on a straight stretch once sharing the road and if it wouldn't have let me pass I would have just been like off Grand Theft Auto I would have just hit ram to some of the bitch make him swerve a little bit and then go on but I didn't want to be that way I was like no I'm going to be the better man I'm going to pass him I'm going to speed up I'm, I'm going to pass him and Gone. But I did have that scenario in my head that I wanted to do it because I, I was so I was so pissed off. And but I didn't. I walked away from that situation. I was the better man on the highway. Now he'd probably go home to his wife or man or whatever. Um you know, a family or whatever said, so Razzo was trying to race me and run me off the road and something like that, saying it was my fault, but when it wasn't my fault, it was her fault. Because they was probably on their damn phones, like how most people are, um, when driving. You know, I understand if you're on a straight stretch, no traffic coming, you know, you get a phone call, yeah, you know, okay, you know, I'm talking, you know, on the phone, whatever, you know, that's fine. But if you can't pay attention and drive at the same time, you don't need to be on the phone. And, you know, that's how wrecks, that's how wrecks get caused. And, um, but yeah, it's just, I have a little road rage this morning. I'm a little pissed off. Nothing much, nothing major, um, from it. I mean, I didn't get in a wreck, thank God. I thought I was. Because there was a car coming toward my way. But um, I had plenty of time to pass and get into the other lane. But the other guy was not sharing it and whatsoever. And and I had to forward it and up to 70. He was going 60 when I was trying to... He was going 50 at first. Then when I was trying to pass him, then he decides to speed up. To about 60, just to be an ass. Am I alright? I said, you're wanting me to speed up? I said, alright, I'll just go on faster. I'll beat your ass. And... So, I turned around and went 70. And... And by the time I passed him, he slowed down back to 50. And... And when... I passed him, I turned around, I flipped him the bird. And I, I just went like, I just went like this to him, where he couldn't really see me. So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, yeah, that was a little road rage, you know, I, you know, if people irritate me on the road. Usually, I just flipped in the bird. I mean, I, it's nothing major. It's not a real bad sign. It's just saying, fuck you, you know, sh share the road. Um, that's what it means. You know, don't be a road hogger. Um, that's what most people are nowadays when they're on their phones. Talking, not paying attention to what they're doing. Um, like the other day, I was on my way home from town. Um, I, I went to Eldon. Um, it's on the outside of Tuscumbia, um, in Missouri, if people don't know where everything's at in Missouri, 
Um, but I was pulling in to grab a road I was on. There was this white car getting her, this white truck, tinted the windows, and he was getting ready to pass on a double yellow line on a corner. Well, and I had a little way, he was just right on my ass the whole entire time. And I had my blinker on, I had my brakes on. He honked at me because I was turning in. Well, I honked at him back because on how reckless he was driving. So he about turned around and came after me. And, but he didn't because I guess the person that he was with in the car told him not to do it. It's not worth it. But he just drove on because he about turned around when we went on my old mom's property and about turning into that drive and turn around and come after me. And I, and I was like, bring it on, buddy. I said, I'm a black belt in karate, taekwondo, man, red belt in taekwondo, black belt in their style of taekwondo. Basically, taekwondo is Korean karate anyway. So I just, I just say, I'm a black belt. I'm a, I'm a, I own a belt in two different systems. I said, bring it on, buddy. I said, I'll Cobra Kai your ass if I have to. Um, or Eagle Fang or Miyagi Do or something like that on his ass. But, um, if y'all watch the Cobra Kai series and all that, that's where I'm getting it from. But, um, yeah, it's just that I have a little, I've been having a little road rage lately. Um, it's because the stupid people just don't know how to fucking drive, um, on the main highways. You know, they don't want to share the fucking roads. They don't want to, um, get off their damn phones while driving. Um, especially as younger generations, about my age, that's all they ever want to do. I, you know, this is what pissed me off. One of my best friends, when I first got my license last year, my best friend, no, it wasn't last year. It was two years ago. Um, my best friend told me at work. She told me she's like, "I don't want to see you driving and talking on her cell phone and pulling into work and everything. If I do, I'm shooting your ass." And well, what I see her do, she pulls in talking on her phone. I looked at her and I said, "Well, what happened to that little speech you gave me?" And She's like, well, I'm experienced. I said, I don't care. I said, it applies to you, too. And so from now on, she don't get on her phone when driving and going into the work because she knows I'll say something. And me, I don't talk when I'm driving anyway. And if I want to talk, I said, if I have to call somebody while I'm on the go, um, I'll hook it up to my Bluetooth on my car and I'll talk that way. I said, but I don't need to be talking and driving at the same time. I said, I make videos while I'm driving, but I don't even really do that that much anymore. Um, another thing is, I got my insurance lowered. Um, it, I got that wreck off a long time ago that I had um, off my uh, title on, on the insurance claim um, a long time ago. And I got that one wreck finally off there because there was jacking the insurance company was jacking with my um, ratings on my insurance because I had that one wreck. Well, there was no ticket issue. It was just a at fault accident because that is a danger that it was a dangerous area to be turning off into. And and that's what they said. They said there's more wrecks here than anything. We always just say it was just an accident in this area. And so they didn't issue me, issue me no ticket, which, thank God. But if they would have issued me a ticket, then I have a reason why the insurance company could, you know, raise, raise the price. But all right, I explained to the woman at the desk and when I walked in there and I told her, I said, you know, it's been four years, about four Three years ago or something like that. And I told her about it. I said there was no issue. Ticket issued. It was, 
it was an asphalt accident. Um, I had no wreck since then. Knock on wood. Um, but the thing of it is, is that I did have the right of way. But the other woman that was driving, she was on her phone, wasn't paying attention. They didn't even put on her brakes or nothing. She just ran right into me. Um, but I got that taken care of, got my insurance lowered. Um, it, it was almost right at 900, about like, I want to say about 600, 700 with progressive, but, um, they took about 200 off. On my insurance, you know, got it lowered to down to 500, you know. Oh, uh, that's full coverage, but I have a liability. Um, when I, when I get, when I get my insurance, I might go to li full coverage. I don't know yet. Um, I probably do need to get full coverage, but I'm not going to. Get it till probably after next year, maybe you know, when I get a little bit more money saved up. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. If you're driving, if you're those young kids that are driving and you think you own the road, uh, don't, don't think you own the road. Um, drive safe, drive normal, don't hog the road. Um, don't be talking on your cell phones. Um, don't be texting. Um, if you have to test, pull over. Um, if you have to call, pull over. Or get a Bluetooth device. Hook your phone up to a Bluetooth device in your car if you have to. Um, that just saves you from having wrecks and everything. Um, but other than that, um, just be safe out there and drive carefully. Pay attention to what you're doing. And... Um, But it's just like I said. I just have a little road rage rant. Um, cause this dude was not wanting me to pass and on the straight stretch. And I hate fuckers like that where they don't want me to pass. And because it happened to me like four different spots. I was trying to pass and he just kept speeding up while well, I got back over and I'm like, this fuck, I said, this fucker is trying to race me. That's what it is. And, and I said, I'm not in the mood to race. And I said, I was just wanting to get home. Here I am home, safe, sound. Um, that's all that matters. But it's just like I said, it's just a little rant, road rage rant. Um, I normally try to not be so negative on my channel. Um, but this morning, that guy had to irritate me on the road, or woman, or whatever, it was probably a woman driver, usually a woman driver, they don't, women drivers, they don't know how to drive very well, as much as men do, uh, men are about the same, um, uh, it works, it does it both ways, on driving, you know, some people just don't know how to drive, and, or show respect to other people on the road, and the only thing I can think of, was either that he was probably a drunk. Because they this legalized marijuana. In my state. Um, in Missouri. And then he, he could just be a pilot. And thinking oh yeah well, it's a race you know. But. You know it, it is what it is. You know I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm not. You know. I'm not really mad. But it's just, I, it just irritates me when people don't show respect on the road for other drivers. And that's what that dude didn't do. He didn't show respect to me. And I thought about following him. Turn around and following his ass. And, and tell him, hey, why, why would you not let me pass back there and when you was putting on your brakes every two damn seconds 
And I say, you need to show respect to the road. And he said, well, I'm in a hurry. I said, I don't care if you're in a hurry. I said, you're in a hurry to get where? To nowhere? You know, that's the thing. You know, it always has to be somebody else, you know, tries to make it where everybody else ruins somebody else's day. And to me, I'm not going to let that person on the road ruin my day. I just had to get what I had to say off for all younger generation drivers. Um, or for anybody out there that's older, they like to talk on their phones while driving. Don't. Because you guys cannot freaking talk and drive at the same time. So, there you have it, folks. 7 Dawn 4. Stay safe. Drive carefully. And, most of all, stay positive. Stay calm if you can. Um, train hard. Train smart. Do your research. And... Study the laws if you have to um, on the roads and in your area, you know, what you can do and what you cannot do if you're not for sure on. Um, but like I said, just be a little bit more careful driving. Um, show respect to other people on the road. And like I said, train hard, train smart, do your research. Please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.